This car generally looks fucking sick. I don't even care. It's so sick. Perfect daily. Great purchase. What's going on, guys? It's been a while. I'll probably make a video soon just to sort of round things up what's been going on of why I haven't been making videos. But it's mainly just not really needing to lately or really wanting to or having the drive to want to push content when, like... I, I'm not going to talk about in this video because it's, I don't want to talk about in this video, pretty much. But, yeah. This is my E46. This is the car, my new project car, when everyone was like, I ain't going to get done. Now, with its new engine, it's been engine swapped. Huge shout out, a massive thank you. And so, let's begin this video to Unitworks. Dan, Mr. German Dan, has smashed it. The car now runs. I bought, I bought an engine that went to shit. So, I had to find me another engine. And it was an auto, and now they've converted it to manual. And then done a whole, full like, health check. And I'm going to show you and tell you everything that is still wrong with this car that these changing because it shouldn't really be driving at the moment but well, I need to make some content at the weekend so I'm going to break make anyway but yeah it shouldn't really be driving but don't matter but yeah so she's now got her new engine in it she's purring like a fucking kitten and with 195k miles on the clock but it's a low mileage engine this one and it was out of an auto so it wouldn't really have been driven as hard technically but um yeah Drives like a peach when driving around the past few days. I love it. It is sick. Uh, getting used to the air ride. I had some dodgy moments with the air ride as well because it likes to just turn off. But I found out the reason why. I'm going to explain it as well. But yeah, um, like I said, unit works. If you need anything done to your vehicle, anything fitted, any like maintenance or whatever you need, link down below. Unit works. Send it on Instagram. Drop a message, and I'm sure they'll be able to sort you something out so yeah i'll leave them link down below now let's take you out of my e46 i've had to hide camera crew today as all my gopros have broken which is fantastic also the reason why the car is covered in shit was because i parked it underneath a lot of trees but it's having a deep clean done by eye valet next weekend and it's going on their youtube channel as well and uh ryan loves toes apparently shout out sean but yeah, so this is getting a full valet. That's why it's still disgusting. And I thought I'd keep it disgusting. So then when I make that video, it'll be a very good before and after of it actually getting done. And you'll be able to tell a massive difference. So I thought I'll leave it dirty or get it more dirty. So then you get a sick before and after for the content, you know. So if you're going to mind it, it's disgusting. That's why it's disgusting. Also, just in case your boys want to see the engine. Wait, look at that. B70 and white. If you want to see the engine, this is the beauty. M performance cap, love to see it. Also, apparently it's actually quite like expensive. This is an M3 strut brace and it has three pieces. But um, yeah, we now have no leaks. Obviously it looks like there is a leak there, but it's not, it's just when it was sealed. Um, so that's obviously the rock cover gasket. This had all new gaskets, new everything. So she's, she's purring and ready to go and I've had no problem since. But yeah, just thought I'd quickly quick show around. Um, I might need a new one of these at some point because my for some reason my coolant bottle was an aftermarket coolant bottle but they're like shit so i need to get a new one now at some point but um yeah she's a she's a beauty trust me absolute beauty For some reason the camera decides to focus on the fucking pavement and not the car. So that probably looked a bit weird that shot, but that was it airing up and that's the compressor turning off. Um this is quite decent, this is like a P2 management or something like that. But basically when I come in, turn the car on, it will lift itself up automatically to ride height. So it does sort of it isn't a completely shit one, it's not really old, but um obviously the car's quite old, but there is a leak and I'll show you that in a minute. But now I'm in the car, let's go for a drive and I'll give you a quick talk about things that are getting fixed, things that need to be changed and all that lovely stuff and how I'm finding the car. So, auto locking, pretty sick. This car has like mad spec and does drive really nice. What it does need changing is the lower arm. That guy there is having a piss out of his 4 Series. Driver's side lower arm in this is pretty much gone so far like the, the bushing is disintegrated itself i've got a brand new lower arm at home i ordered it the other as soon as i picked it up but he said don't really drive it but the good thing about this being on air it feels like you're in a boat and you don't really you don't feel it at all you can hear it now and then knocking a bit 
but it sort of glides. So the only reason why I am driving this around at the moment is to make the content because I'm a giver on the old content. But yeah, it definitely needs to be changed. I've got a new one and it's being changed. Um, so yeah, that's one bad thing about the car. Um, like I said, the coolant bottle, I need to get that bit sorted. I'll just get a new one at some point. You may be thinking, Tommy, your indicator sounds a bit wrong because the bulb's not in properly. So when I indicate right, it ticks like that to basically say the, the bulb's not in properly. So the front end doesn't show I'm actually indicating, which needs to be sorted. Like I said, another easy thing. Also, also needs a number plate light bulb and um, so the airline, I'll show you when we actually stop at the end of this video. Um, the, I think it's called like the pressure release valve is leaking air. So like where you would drain it from, that's leaking and you can hear it hissing. And obviously if I don't get it fixed after a little amount of, after a amount of time, that will affect the pump and will cost me a lot more money. I found like a full kit with the actual hosing for like 20 quid online. And a bunch of you guys on Instagram, shout out to you, have sent me loads of the parts on eBay you can get, and it's literally gonna cost like a tenner. So I'm not worried about that, I always didn't order it. And as you can probably tell, the steering wheel is disgusting, and the gear knob comes off whenever you're driving. So that's getting changed. I bought a bunch of trim pieces to go over this bit just to sort of make it look a bit nicer, and um, they are all incorrect, so that was shit. And um, I'm gonna try and take some of these trim bits out, all this, weird, I don't know what sort of like hexagon carbon effect and I'm going to wrap it gloss black so I think that will be a good idea. But yeah, so I'm just making this sort of like a luxurious daily the touchscreen entertainment, the bluetooth everything is nice, the sound system's good it's got cruise control and it does drive nice, like I'm on air ride on it but it's not a race car or nothing. My Fiesta's stiff as fuck to drive around in and the M4 that's quite harsh but I like it but this is just like I can chill in there. These like M36 hug you quite nice and you can just sort of like relax, gangster swab it, do you know what I mean, and just chill. So this is sort of the coolest daily I have ever owned in all fairness. And I've ordered like a bunch of like Alcantara gate and stuff. Also already fitted this because um the car didn't have cup holders, so I needed cup holders. And then I've got the airline there and I had to like drill a hole here for this is where I adjust my suspension stuff. But I need to dremel it out a bit to hold the actual thing. But this is going to be my luxurious daily air ride car. But I've already found some wheels I want to get. I want to wrap it at some point. Obviously, these things don't happen overnight. But I can never leave something too stock. But I'm not. I'm trying not to change anything that will affect the performance or the reliability. That's how I say of this car. Luckily, BM engines. Like I said, I've got the guys over at Uniworks to swap it and I got them to change all the gaskets with it whilst it was getting done so I wouldn't have to really worry too much about it as long as I keep up to date with the servicing on it these cars, like these engines go forever and it is a 3 litre which the car had in it the engine had in it before was a 3 litre as well so we stay with the 3 litre goodness and um, fuel wise it seems alright obviously coming from an M4 comp anything's better on fuel spoons so you could have a hole in the fuel tank and I'll probably still be there better for like miles per gallon so in that scenario this car is sort of the perfect daily for me but I've not actually put my foot down in this car once yet because it's not really a car you need to but I have noticed it's got a little bit of kick to it so I'm gonna I want like a nice little drill quadra bit here I put it in second and I'm gonna go for a bit and just see how it does so let's see oh the humming it's quick but it does move. It's got a lot of power and because obviously it's NA and 3 litre, it just sort of, it has a continuous pull. You don't really, obviously not hitting boost, you don't get a, a sudden kick of acceleration or power, but you get a constant push from it. It's quite nice. I'm not sure what brake horsepower is sort of supposed to make, but I would say it's very much close to like, sort of a Fiesta ST in my eyes. I do believe this came with a Mac ECU, so that might help it, but it's sort of just got a nice long progressive power band. I didn't buy it to make big numbers, but it pulls well. You can actually get turbo kits these quite cheap, but maybe one day if I have another daily, but whilst this is the daily, 
know. Also, name the car because I've been thinking of names. I don't know whether to go with like an, of, is it an E for an E46 or a B for the BMW. It's like my M4 is called Melody the M4. I was thinking of this even though it, the letter isn't to do with the name. Daisy the Daily. I thought that was nice. Look at that. Oh, he don't want this smoke. Also, I forgot to add, amongst the engine being like, the engine I got had the head gasket gone in it as well originally, so I had to swipe and swap for another one. Whilst that was happening, also, when they took the clutch out, the clutch was absolutely fucked. So I had to buy a brand new clutch, but luckily, a brand new clutch for this car cost me £140, which is extremely cheap. So that was a bargain. But yeah, that was just lucky that obviously these older cars are very cheap to maintain compared to my E46 Mini clutches or the fucking Fiesta will still be like 250 or quid, then later on top of that. But luckily whilst everyone was a buy, it wasn't too bad. But um, that's one thing I should also add. So it was a bit of a nightmare getting this done. It was just being unlucky with things. And then obviously when a car gets taken apart, you find out a lot more problems than you were initially anticipated but yeah it's it's quick quickish it isn't the cheapest thing to run but it's a lot cheaper than anything else if I can got and it's comfy the air ride I'm getting used to it's cool but it just worries me or like it's gonna go wrong that's the one problem with it like the other day I was in a car park and I was gonna tell you guys this was gonna add so when I got this car, the battery was dead. So I took the battery out of my Fiesta and put it in this car and drove it home. I had no tools. So when I put my new battery in this, I've done it all finger tight. And where it has the sub, the amp, the air, it's got a lot of stuff going on as a battery and I've tied that all by finger tight. And there's another like earth strap negative that clips on. So you've got the battery, then you've got the tray and the holder for the tray has the pins. And then where you bolt down that holder, they've put the negative on for the air tank. Now where I tightened that up by hand, it was loose. I aired the back up, the fucking connection came loose and my controller died and the air turned off and I was stuck in the multi-story car park and couldn't get out. And I was shitting myself and I was like, what's going on? I couldn't work it out. I had no power to it. And then I started, that beat me, I'm gonna BM you dickhead. I started like playing around with the nuts and bolts and it came back to life. So that is one thing I've noticed needs to be done. I just need to put a socket set on it really and then then shall we mint but yeah um that also happened that got me paranoid to fuck about the air but that's sort of a me that's a well, that not sort of that is a me problem not not the car's problem definitely the car definitely my problem but yeah as you can tell definitely it's a fucking steering wheel because this is disgusting but they're like 80 quid and i don't really want to spend 80 quid on this at the moment <laughs> You can't tell me this is not the Alma Daily. I got See, Brad Mondo noise. on my YouTube. I go to the home. I got my B17 while I just added. I moved the YouTube. Had to like hotspot to get it. Move. Yep. Yep, whatever that'll do. But yeah, look, got B17 while I would load the car up. That is mad. You can't do that on an M4. You can't do that on a Fiesta. You can do it on an E46 with one of these things fitted. But yeah, this is mad. I can watch films in it. Everything, anything I want to do, I can. I can use the internet for hotspotting. The thing is mad. But just before I wrap this video up, I'm going to show you the airline thing because I don't know what exactly I need. And I thought making this video, you guys might be able to help me into what I need to actually order so I know I'm getting the right thing. It is really grim, but you know, I'm just, I'm just waiting. So this, this thingy midgie. Ah, see that? Look, it's leaking air again. Stop doing that. I don't have to stop it. Please stop. You get what I mean? She leaky. I need one, don't leak. Oh God, should not have touched it. Great. Basically, yeah. Please advise me what I'm gonna buy. Um, yeah. So I think I need to replace this whole thing. But it's now leaking and I'm a bit worried. Um, just coming to edit this video now, I've noticed the entire ending of this video was pure wind. So I um, I deleted it all and just thought I'd say it now. So if you enjoyed this video, hit the like, comment down below, hit the subscribe button. We also have a bank holiday sale, 10% off everything 
on the B7 Performance website and that will end on Monday night, Tuesday morning. So you still have two more days to grab it while you can. So yeah, see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. Sorry I haven't posted for ages, but like I said, I'll probably make a video explaining that soon anyway. Um, so yeah, see you on the next one. Peace.